septic tanks, lots and lots of misconceptions about them. I have a listing that has one that is being pumped and I thought I would share some of the very, very simple things to do regarding your septic tank when you're selling and you have a septic and what to expect. Stay tuned. Hey there, it's Angel, your local Bakersfield realtor here in Bakersfield. And I just wanted to have a quick little conversation with you while I'm waiting on the guy to come pump the septic. One of the big misconceptions about the septic is that it is going to make your house smell like poop. That is not the case. It is in the ground. If you notice right behind me here, it's a tank that is buried in the ground. They put it here before they even like built the house. Then, there's a line that goes to the pit. The pit is like almost like an overflow of solids, whatever, that also can be cleared and pumped. And you'll get a licensed professional to do this. This is not something you're gonna like run into one Sunday afternoon and just do this uh, from a trip to Home Depot. This is something that you need to call in the professional. Drain Pro is the company that I'm using today. They are a local company, very, very busy, clearly, because he had to leave in the middle of this event and go to an emergency. <laughs> but there are people that are absolutely certified. So this one has been started. He got called away to an emergency at a restaurant. So he will just leave this here and he will hook it up to the truck when he gets here. So when we talk about the septic tank, what we are talking about is a huge cement pit that is buried in the ground that will collect all of the solids and collect the water and collect for a number of years, actually, depending on the size of your property. Sometimes it's in the front yard, like here at my listing, and sometimes it's in the back or it's on the side of the property. Now this is what's called the seepage pit. So this is when, when the tank is full and then it overflows and it goes into the seepage pit. They put the grass back, they put all of this back, and then it ends up looking just like that. Once the grass grows back, all the mud goes away, the grass will go back and it will look pretty again. So they come and they dig up the yard and they find the tank and then they will pump out the tank. And then if there's even water in the pit, they will empty the pit. So the way the pit works is the way the guide described it to me was a glass full of ice and the pit ha is basically like cement and then it's got rocks in it. So you picture a glass of ice that you put water down. Well, it's gonna do what it needs to do over the rocks or the cement or the ice, whatever the visual is that you have going on. If you were to put a big old glob of like pudding on top of that glass of ice or that cement with the rocks in it, it's not gonna trickle down quite as smoothly as we would hope, right? So then it gets all icky and backed up. We don't want the pit backed up. We want everything collected in the tank and then you know, using the leach lines for the water to go out into the yard the way it's supposed to. The way it's designed, it's pretty environmentally friendly, to be honest with you, the way the water goes back into the earth through the leach lines. But we don't wanna have the pit and the tank needing to be full and both needing to be pumped. That is a red flag. So here's a rule of thumb for your septic tank. It's basic maintenance of your house, just like mowing your yard, cleaning your pool, something that you have to do. The parameters to do that are going to be different based on the size of your family. So if you have a family of four and your house has a septic tank, you probably need to have it pumped mm, about every three years. If you have a family of five, you would probably want to up that to every two years. If it's just the two of you living in the house, you probably can push five years. I will say this, if you entertain a lot, you're gonna need to increase your pumping time. It's a nominal fee. It's like seven, $800 every two or three years. That is easy maintenance for your house. That's like getting your air conditioner serviced. Like I said, that's like cleaning your pool. Very, very basic thing that you have to do for your home. For you to do that every couple of years, I highly, highly recommend it. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind when you have a septic. You do not want to put feminine products in them. 
Absolutely not. They do not go down the drain. You do not want to use antibacterial soap. We need the bugs in the soap to do their thing with all of the product that's in the tank. So no antibacterial. Another thing you want to make sure you don't have in your septic and put down your drain is stringy foods, potatoes, carrots, celery. Now, when you go to sell your property, obviously your buyer does not want your stuff when they buy your house. So as a seller, your job, your responsibility is to get it pumped and serviced. So it will need to be pumped and certified and they will also do a check where they make sure that all of the leech lines and all of the, you know, the way the baffle works all. Listen, I don't want to be an expert on septic, but you live here in Bakersfield, you sell enough houses, you become an expert on what a septic can do. So when that happens, when you get it pumped and cleared, then you will get it certified and usually a lender will want that certification. If you're getting ready to buy the house, you're gonna get a $450,000 loan for the property. They're gonna to wanna to make sure that the septic tank is solid. This is not usually something that's covered on a home warranty, by the way. Your homeowner's insurance needs to know it, but it's not covered on a home warranty. So there was a season here in Bakersfield where they just built all the houses with the um, septics. You can pay to be on the sewer if you want. You can revamp all of your plumbing to be part of the sewer system. Uh, I'll let you know that is not a cheap ticket. We're looking at a probably $30,000 event there. So a few hundred dollar service every handful of years is probably gonna be a better financial decision. But if you absolutely want nothing to do with owning a septic tank, then you can go ahead and take care of that 30,000 or more to get connected to the sewer. So back to the misconception about your house smelling like poop if you have a septic. Huge misconception, by the way. But you will be able to tell, like say you haven't really taken the time to note when you got the service done on your septic. Maybe you just didn't write it down or something. You will not instantly have your house fill up with uh, the water, but you will notice like the toilet doesn't flush that well and the sinks aren't draining the water and your laundry seems to be not going as efficiently as it once did. So those are signs that you might need to get your septic taken care of. You put the enzymes in maybe once every six months so that all the bugs and the critters like I was talking about before can do what they need to do in the tank, which is whatever, I, you know, again, I don't wanna be an expert, but it has something to do with the <laughs> septic. Once all of that is done, it's pumped and it's cleared and it's certified, then we can move forward and then when you go into the home, it's ready to go. Good marker of, I moved into the house in 2019, that's a good marker to use. I'll need to get it pumped again probably in 2021. And here we are, 2021. Honestly, it's something we handle very regularly here in Bakersfield for whatever reason. Like I said, there was a season where they just built all the houses with them. They don't do it now with their building and new construction, but there are several, several neighborhoods here in Bakersfield that have septic and it's just the entire street, the entire neighborhood, the entire community. You just know it's on septic. And just a little side note, if you do refinance your house, like say you own it and then you want to get a lower interest rate or whatever, you will need to get your septic certified and pumped for that as well. So it's almost like buying your house again when you do a refi. So it's the same process, but I wouldn't do that every three to five years. I would just take care of it.